and there was a nice surprise in this. I didn't realize till after I got home, but good morning, folks. Kuya Nate here. Hopefully, you guys have been good. How are you? Let me know in the comments below. It's been a while, and uh, I wanted to make a video before it got really, like, too long since I made my last video. I took a little bit of a step back from YouTube, um, but th thank you to the people who reached out in the meantime and asked if I was okay. I thanked them in the last video. Thank you again. really meant a lot. Um, shout outs to some people though, during the break, I'll call it the YouTube break, I ran into, uh, actually in one night, I ran into three people at the thrift store I went one evening who uh, recognized me. And shout outs, I told them I'd do shout outs to you. Uh, first out, first one shout out to Jake the Snake. I always have to give nicknames to people. Jake, uh, he actually purchased something from me off of uh, the local marketplace here on Facebook. And then when I met up with him, he's like, yeah, I, yeah you're Queen 8. I've been following you since 2012. Kid looks like he's 20 years old. The best influence that kid's had in his life. Thrift Waller. I don't know if that's true. He seems like a fine young man. Thank you very much. Before I met up with Jake that night, I went to the thrift store, like, because he was uh, behind. It was really bad weather that day. I ran into a nice young fella. I don't want to say his name because he's a minor. One of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> uh, shout out to you, young man. Funny story, you got me like totally off guard, right? I'm trying to figure out how to say this without getting cancelled. A young gentleman with the fairest complexion. Perfect accent and everything is like, hi Kuya Nate. Kuya, like perfect. Kuya is a, a Tagalog word, a word from the Filipino language, Tagalog. So it, it just trips me out in public when somebody just goes, hey Kuya Nate, and they're like not Filipino. Anyways, fine young man, thank you very much for shouting out and saying hello. Uh, I didn't want to put him on camera, obviously, because he's minor. And I ran into my other friend, Dexter, and a uh, fine young man who watches me on television, his son. He, the youngest out of all the kids I met that day. And I realized I have to stop swearing on camera. That was a long intro, sorry, but the realist will stay for the whole intro. Thank you to you guys. On today's vlog, I have a lot of old footage. I was still recording, even though we were taking, like, I wasn't making videos for YouTube, or I was not posting videos, I was still recording footage. And on today's vlog, I wanted to throw in a really meaningful lunch I had with a friend of mine, Mark and Friends, on uh, Instagram, check him out. I uh, decided to have breakfast with him one day before I went to go see my grandpa. Uh, this was like at least a few week, a month or so ago now. And it really meant a lot for me to reconnect with an old friend and uh, just talk, literally just talk face to face. I guess, you know, the whole Corona, I'm not, I shouldn't say that word, uh, with the whole epidemic that's been happening and everything, it was nice to have some physical contact like a normal person, have some breakfast with a friend. He actually purchased for me a couple of Breath of the Wild factory sealed games from the Walmart by his work. He damaged one of them. Queen A didn't manage it. Let's just say I'm disappointed. <laughs> But it doesn't seem like anything good. Oh, it's like Lord of the Rings. Anyways, today is Black Friday. This is probably the only thing I'm doing. I'm also going for breakfast with uh, my friend Mark right after this. So it's a quick in and out today. There's a slim PS2, which I will get $10 off of, which is still pricey, but still. It's not that busy for a Black Friday. This is pretty sweet though. Very happy about that. Okay, now that I've kind of looked into the clothing game a bit, that's pretty sick, right? Am I wrong? Is that Fuego? I've been working a lot lately, so I just wore a mask all day. So my 
Look at this. Smile if you like prostates. That's from that's from the office. Anyways, I'm here today to meet up with Mark uh, from Mark and Friends on Instagram. Check him out. We're gonna have breakfast. He bought me a couple of uh, Breath of the Wild factory sealed uh, Wii U games from the Walmart by his work. He bought two pristine copies, but for some reason he's bringing me only one pristine copy and one cracked, cracked. Anyways, he just texted me that he's here. <laughs> hey bro. Hello, hello, hello. That's a good package. What happened? What happened? There was two. So I don't know what happened because I took them both out of my out of my backpack and then we're still in the plastic wrap. And then I was like, are you fucking? You probably punched it because you were mad at me. Like, no. Nate, I hate Nate. No. So here's the bad copy, unfortunately. Where did it break? Oh, you so, look at that. So it went there. That is that is on purpose, bro. Now here's what I want. I don't want to do this because I want to make up for it. I want to do this because I want to. Uh, I know that you're a huge Zelda collector, and uh, I know that you would appreciate this a lot more. So I want you to. Have, oh God, no! no I want you to have my um, my misprint. No, I don't want yeah, your misprint. No, no, I, no here's why. I'll, okay, I'm gonna, I'm explain, say, explain. Okay. I'll I'll decide. I got this for really cheap. Okay. First and foremost. Okay. okay. Second. If I were to go sell this at PMP Games, yeah. they wouldn't. They would not charge me the misprint. They would not give me the misprint price. Okay. I wouldn't be make. I wouldn't be making much on it. So like, I honestly want you to have it. It's sitting on my shelf. I already have a copy. You're wrong. No, you're wrong. You can take it because I want you to take it. I love you, bro. Yeah, man. I, I love want you, bro. you to take it. And, I'm not gonna. And it, it's not just. It's not because I want to make up for this. Because I know. Well, you're, you're gonna take this then, right? No, no, no. I'm not. I don't want to take. No, 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 no. I'm not. No, that's too. Okay, I'm here with Mark here. We just both realized we are Gabble fans. Uh, Winnipeg Gabble Club. Right here, the fan club of Gabble. Official Winnipeg chapter, the president. Uh, officer, man at arms. Mark over here. We love Gabble. I love Gabble. I sent them a package of chocolates and stuff. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, just gotta do the Asian thing. This is my egg whites and veggie stuff. What was this again? Cauliflower bites. Cauliflower bites. And what you get, bro? Uh, oh, thank you. We're just waiting on the maple syrup. Got it. Perfect. Uh, yeah, sure, actually, that'd be great. So. I just got the pancake breakfast with grass fed beef. Okay. Kind of bougie. Okay. Yeah. Let's eat this, bro. Good life. Yeah. I use a cup. No, it's okay, good. this is a caramel sauce. You want me to try? Yeah. Not good. There's a caramel. Anyways, let's get into this, these uh, items here. I'll show you what I got. And we'll show some of the pickups from today's vlog's thrift store visit. Okay, I gotta get to the thrift store, so let's do this quickly. Uh, I think this is what Mark gave me, as you saw in the video. He gave me a gift. I think this was the gift? No, this was the the one factory sealed copy of Breath of the Wild that wasn't, like, torn up. I don't know why I wanted it. I just wanted it. It was cheap. Really happy to have that. That one's uh, gonna go on my nice little Zelda shelf here. But Mark also gave me a couple more items here in this bag. I think this is the one that was ripped. Yeah, you can see right there, gouged. Ay, 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 owie, zowie, wowie. Ooh, I paid full price for this, bruh. I think he did it to make up for it. He gave me this copy, his misprint copy of Breath of the Wild uh, for the Wii U. Because of all these little guys here. I don't know if he explained that in the video or not, but... Yeah, this is the misprint copy. I don't know if it's worth anything more or not, but it's a gift from a friend, and it will forever be in the Zelda shrine that I have here in my office. Anyways, yes, there was uh, some stuff at the thrift store portion of today's video, and there was a nice surprise in this. I didn't realize till after I got home, but just to show you guys, nice little strategy guy we picked up. Look at that. Fantastic. I'm very happy about that. Uh, didn't come with any posters or anything. What was in the box? So you can see here it had a, there's like a little X4 on there. Because it came with four items in this lot, I guess, from the thrift store. 50 bucks. That was a lot. Minus 20% off. But it came with these two beautiful blue controllers. Look at that. Beauties. The best surprise was inside. When you look deeper, kids you'll find the heart of the artichoke. Ooh la la! Look at that. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Loose values on the screen. 
That was nice. Look, it came with this Falcon Tire Drift sticker. That was really funny, actually. Red Octane thing for Guitar Hero. That might come in valuable one day. I bet you there's some good Resident Evil data on that memory card. 50 bucks. I got this, woo, months ago, I would say, months ago now I got this. And I dropped the old game. What was in here? Oh, a whole set of Power Ranger. They were a whole set of Power Ranger VHS tapes. Look at that, part four of the Green Ranger. These were really meaningful back in the day to me. There was like an Asia City, I don't know, gift store that sold all the Sanrio stuff. And they would also sell these bootleg copies of like Dragon Ball and stuff on VHS. Like, look at that. was bubble jet printed. Just a blank VHS tape, Sailor Moon. But these are just, I don't know, points of connection to my history, man. Kids would, we would trade these. One person would buy them and record a whole bunch of copies for their other, other friends. You know, you had two VHS. Uh, players hooked up to each other. I guess I picked up a controller this day. I honestly don't remember picking up this. Four bucks. Yay, yay, yay. Had the turbo buttons on it. That's pretty cool, I guess. Is this a vintage controller? And the game that fell. I don't want to get it. It's a, it's a Guitar Hero game. But anyways, this is what I picked up uh, on today's vlog. This is what I showed everybody. Thank you very much for joining me on the return video to youtube happy 2022 everybody all the best to you guys i didn't get to wish you that yet i'm sure in some uh i recorded a couple vlogs already where i might have said happy new year again and i shouted out those people i shouted out on this video again i've been meaning to make this come back for a while quote unquote but uh i actually had to just sit down and do it today anyways thank you for spending your time with me queen eight check back on the channel more videos coming soon i got a bunch of backlog bunch of other old footage I want to put in with some new footage to make some interesting type blogs and uh, experience this thing that we call life together. Take care guys. Peace.